Okay, so I um, just wanted to talk a little bit about, um, let's say I wanted to go on a pilgrimage and uh, it would, the cheapest way would be uh, to sleep in communal quarters with others and I have a lot of issues, I probably would actually, uh, of sleeping with a load of people around me. I'd probably, you know, I'd probably would have things like snoring and, uh, you know, uh, yeah, or bugs, bed bugs, snoring, uh, people having weird noises in the middle of the night. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I guess, I guess, that, yeah, I would be quite like, I mean, it would be like, well, maybe it's a good reason not to go on this, um, on this adventure. Um, how to deal with it? Actually, you know, the thing I would do, um, there's a few uh, different things I'd say. One of the thing is, I know that uh, I would try and do it. I would hope I'd have enough time, depending on the, the amount of hooks. I'd write down all the hooks, potential hooks, that my ego's going, well, you know, um, uh, no, I'm not going to go because of the snoring. I'm not going to go because of the bed bugs. I'm not going to go for irritating noises in the middle of the night. And I'll, I'll, I'll try and have a few days where I'm writing down everything that's coming up in my head about, you know, um, yeah, uh, whatever. Or, you know, the toilets aren't good. Or the showers aren't working. Or, um, or it's cold, or there's no heating. You know, various things. Uh, people might be selling drugs, or whatever it is. Uh, 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 aggressive behaviour. Um, so, put it all down on a list, and then I would start processing the whole list. And the tools I'd use for the processing. Um, and what's my intention? My intention is to have as much time before I go to try and get into a very high vibration before I leave. Now, if I've got like a hundred hooks and I've got like to leave to make a decision to go by tomorrow, it's doubtful I'd be able to get into like this solid flow state and feeling of invincibility because probably I've got too much garbage in my head. Um, which will mean then I would arrive on day one, you know, out of spiritual connection, full of like what could happen. And I do know that sometimes if I'm staying in a fearful place of something that might happen, it, it can often happen. It's like, oh my God, I hope, hope uh, there's not bed bugs and I hope there's um, no one snoring. I'll probably have a snorer with bed bugs in my bed, you know, because it's like almost like my vibration, I'm not like telling the universe in fear, I do not want bed bugs and snorers anywhere near me. And I'll probably end up with, you know, at some point, bed bugs and snoring people all around me. So it's like, I know, so I've got to let, so to the extent that I can transcend those hooks, so I'm, you know, I put like, I cancel my belief, uh, I, I cancel, I, you know, I cancel the adverse effects, I like this one. Cancel the adverse effects of snoring on, on my sleep. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. I cancel my belief in bed bug infestations in communal uh, sleeping quarters. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. I cancel my belief in weird noises in the middle of the night. I'm an infinite being subject only to what... So I'd be doing that and I'm trying to get to a place where I can hardly even think of it, the problem. It's like I've dissolved it so much that even trying to have the thoughts, it seems to disappear. It seems to be, I can't really latch onto it. So I'm trying to get into that, what I call, oh, I can't even think of the problem, even if I, even if I, uh, I sort of read it. Or it, because as you do the cancelling beliefs and the infinite being, put it in infinite light, it's almost like at a certain point, your ego just doesn't want to, you know, it's like, oh, you know, I can't be bothered with that. I don't even, I can't even be bothered to think about that. So you have this kind of like, you know, you feel like it's completely gone. Kind of thing. So cancelling beliefs is one. You can use any of the other Course in Miracle lessons. You can use like a, a mixture of the whole lot of them. You know, some um, cancelling beliefs. Some I place a place uh, I place uh, my fear that there'll be bed bugs infestations in the communal sleeping quarters into God's infinite light and love, and I pray for miracles and transcendence. Keep putting it into the light every day. Now, if it's a big thing, um, here's what I would be probably doing. If I think it's like if my number one thing is a snorer, you know, like loud snoring for the whole night, then it would be like, okay, so every time I think of someone snoring next to me 
in a bed loudly for the whole night. If that's the biggest one, then I might like I make a little prescription for myself in how much of each one I do and how much time I spend on each one. So small ones I might only do like, I don't know, five prayers, five cancellings or five putting them in. Let's say I've got, uh, let's say this pilgrimage I've got like a hundred days. So you, do, you know, I'll sort of work it out like from my own experience of cancelling beliefs or putting things, how long does it take me to clear something? And if I feel there's a lot of emotion and there's a lot of intensity, then I might up the amount of time I spend on it every day. So I might do for, um, for the snoring, if that's the biggest, number one is snoring, number two is bed bugs. I might do like, you know, 200 cancellings a day on it, morning and afternoon, and uh, 50 putting it into God's infinite light and love. Also, if I can, I might do this as a hypnotherapist. I learned this nifty trick, which they use in all therapies, which is like, try and provoke myself through visualization or I could like put YouTube like snorers on YouTube and get someone like loudly snoring and then I go oh my god that's terrible and then the feelings come up so I'm trying to like you try and bring up the feelings as if it's actually happening or visualize like someone snoring uh, or you know the sheets are coming off the bed because they're snoring so loud whatever it is and then you feel the emotion you bring up the emotions and then feel them out so it's like Okay, so at night time, put the loud snoring, a YouTube video on snoring, and uh, feelings come up, and then process the feelings, feel the feelings out until you get to peace. Until you're, you're trying to get to a place where, trying to visualize snorers, trying to put on YouTube sounds of, of like the most annoying snorer on YouTube might be a good one to, to look up. And, uh, and then feel out all the feelings, so, so that you can put that, that annoying snorer on, and you don't really get the emotions coming. So I've cleared the emotional backlog. Even if I try and think of the belief system, I've cleared it so it's no longer, I can't track it in my head. Uh, I'm doing that with all of them. Feel the feelings, cancelling beliefs. Um, I could, you know, I mean, I don't usually use the observer so much for clearing, but, uh, but it can be, it can be used for clearing it if you want. You can make, put in a bit of observing. I'm trying to get to a place, hopefully I've got enough time, so I get into what I call a bulletproof state before going. It's like, and I know that that bulletproof state, and I've, I've tried to take out the triggers, so I'm no longer affected by the thoughts of snorers and bed bugs, and I've tried to take out the emotions by sort of like triggering myself by visualization or noises or whatever it is, so there's no feelings left. So get into... And then maybe practice the observer or, or spiritual groups or whatever it is to top up my... Listening to Hawkins as well to top up. Also, yeah, if I have my favourite teacher like Hawkins, let's say... Uh, the one thing I do with Hawkins is I'll, I'll see what's the predominant thing and from the levels of consciousness. So the main thing I'm worried about is I'm afraid, afraid of snores and big butts. So it seems to be fear seems to be the big one. So then I might go on... Uh, I might get my books like Letting Go or Transcending the Levels of Consciousness and try and read um, try and read the fear chapter uh, and relate it to, you know, <laughs> snoring bed bugs or whatever it is. So, and then try and put it through there and go, okay, actually that's not, you know, those are transitory things which aren't really real and they don't really affect my intrinsic true internal nature. So I can run it through and then, you know, I'll probably go on YouTube or find some clips or articles by Hawkins on fear. I might put fear Dr. David R. Hawkins into YouTube and see if he's just talking about fear and then see what he has to say. So I'm recontextualizing all the, all the things. So I'm trying to use all the spiritual tools and get into an infinite place before. We, and those would be the things. I mean, ideally, oh yes, I just popped into mind. If, if it's going to be a long, a long spiritual pilgrimage, I think there's nothing like, if I can, trying, let's say I'm going to Spain on a long pilgrimage for like 100 days. If I could, I might try and see if I could book myself into a communal thing for one or two days in the UK, in London, just to get a, a dry run of some snoring and bed bugs. <laughs> and I'd go, okay, I'd go, it's going to be 100 days and I don't want to leave until the 100 days is over. But I haven't, I haven't sort of tested it out. Am I in a good enough place? So 
there's this cheap, uh, there's a, an offer on the YMCA for a fiver next week. So, so, so I'm going to like have a, a weekend, I'm probably too old for, the, for that, or older youth, so whatever it is. <laughs> and uh, I'll have some snoring teenagers and sort of, uh, and, and then have all the stuff come out of it for a day and say, okay, there's still a lot of work I can do. And so hopefully I can sort of get to a place where I'm relatively confident I can handle the 100 days. I think I wouldn't be confident if I haven't got enough time to do the processing and get into a good spiritual state, because then I think the snoring will just knock me off my spiritual state very easily. And, I, and then I'll just be constant snoring for the whole trip, so I won't have enough time to counteract it. So that's what I do on that one.